Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we are gonna be talking about a very overpowered trading method inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team that will help you make a lot of coins on Thursdays, right? This specific trading method is one that we have talked about many times already on this game. Position change and chemistry style trading methods, but on Thursdays, they work incredibly well because of the demand that we have and the supply. And I'm gonna talk through that with you guys today. I literally sat down after the live stream today on Twitch, link down below in the description if you wanna watch this trade and talk about this market live on stream. Uh, I sat down for like an hour and I flipped myself literally about 25 of these Indombles, all between four and basically 10K profit per card and a couple really insane snipes. And I mean, doing that math times like 20 to 25, I mean, I've definitely made 100, 150,000 coins easily on these cards with a couple Farinos thrown in as well. This trading method is absolutely banging on Thursday. So if you're excited to learn about this, hit a thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. But why Thursdays? Why does chemistry style and position change trading, why is it so overpowered on Thursdays? It's because of this SBC right here, marquee matchups and the brand new team of the week. We have a combination of a lot of demand because Thursdays, people get their rivals rewards. They start playing game. There's a lot of gameplay demand on Thursdays with people playing division rivals, getting ready to qualify for the weekend league, those kind of things. People are trying out brand new cards from that team of the week that was released the day before on Wednesday. In today's video's instance, team of the week five was released yesterday. But then on Thursday, we have these marquee matchups, which is like the first real supply after rewards for this team of the week five which creates a very interesting trading point on this game. And I wanna talk about why this chemistry style flipping is just so overpowered during this time frame. Now again, these are the cards that we're trading with. The brand new Team of the Week that was released the day before Thursday. Uh, you know, this Team of the Week isn't even that hype, but there's cards in here that are cards people wanna try out, right? Pop, top five leagues, top nine nations, and Dombele, Firmino, Nabri, uh, Ansu Fati are some of the favorites. I really like trading with the midfielders midfielders or central players because that means you can move them anywhere from striker to cdm and that means for position change trading they are op right and spe specifically some of these midfielders in this week's team of the week and dombele and firmino because you know with a hunter chem style or a shadow chemistry style the best two chem styles to trade with both of them kind of work on those cards and people want to use them so why does this work so well again take a look at thursday's graph on and Dombele. He went from 45K down to 36 with Rivals Rewards, back up to 45, down to 31. And this, in this window right here, when the market drops with marquee matchups, is where we trade and make a bunch of coins on Thursdays with these cards. Because at the same time that the market is dropping with supply and these Team of the Week cards are getting supplied on this game, you have a lot of people that are wanting to go and try them out as well. Like this Ndombele card, people are going out and playing games, so they wanna try them out. But let's say they're running a formation and they need this Ndombele as a, as a center defensive mid to be on full chem. Right now, 41,000 coins for Ndombele as a center defensive mid card. Again, his lowest price on the market, his cheapest price is 33K. Let's check center mid. How much is he with the center mid? Usually this is a little bit lower. Uh, center mid Ndombele, 38,000 coins, 37K on this game, I can probably get a sale at 38 on the hour. And even Striker, right? French Link, some people might be uh, needing this card at Striker, about 38,000 coins for this card with that position change. Uh, let's go to the Hunter position. Uh, chem style, how much is he with the Hunter? He is about 40,000 coins. And then with the Shadow, which is probably the most popular chem style, he is actually about 38K, 39,000 coins with that Shadow chemistry style applied and you get sales on these cards all the time because people are going out and wanting to try these cards. So, and they wanna try them out with the chemistry styles and stuff applied. So how do you buy them, right? How do you buy these cards? Now there's two different ways you can do this. The first way that I use is I use the compare price sniping method, right? So Tengai and Domble is going for right around 33,000 coins. Boom, there's a center mid. Got it. Bang. That's a huge one right there. So right now he's selling for 33,000 coins for the center attacking mid version base chemistry style. Position change. Center attacking mid to center mid is not a cheap one. And again, we just looked this up. This sells for about 38,000 coins on the market with that position change applied. That'll probably sell in the next 10 minutes. Again, you can look across my transfer list. I've been doing this for the past about hour. Ooh, we had another Firmino sold. 83K. W. 
I've been doing this for about an hour and a half after I streamed today on Twitch. Uh, link down in the description if you want to get involved there. And I have made probably about 150, almost 200,000 coins because some of these cards I was buying in Dombele's at about 31,000 coins and selling them for 41K. Um, you know, right around the the most hype time of the day. This is something that I'm gonna look forward to doing every single Thursday because these flips are just they're just massive on these cars that are in demand because of people wanting to try them out, even if they're not like super duper hyped. Like again, I, I mentioned this team of the week is not good. Um, these cards are still ones that people want to add to their team and try out, and that just makes these snipes incredible and it makes the flips unbelievable so again i'm chemistry style trading right now in this window and the way that i'm sniping these cards again is the compare price method Ooh, shadow or striker position change bang dude let's go nobody's doing this with ndombele and ndombele when his gold card was in packs was like one of the most popular cards to trade with with position changes because everybody used him in the early game there's like no competition on this card now anyways the way that I'm sniping these cards and getting these deals is I'm comparing price. So I'm back here at the 59th minute and I'm pressing square to compare price. Every time that I back out, it refreshes the market and it will load any new listings that were listed under my search filter. So what you do is you do this really quick. And then when you see a new card pop up like that one, all right, boom, that one's got a chemistry style that doesn't sell for anymore and no position change. Ooh, there's a center mid with a catalyst at 30K. I was never going to win that because that was literally a 3k undercut. So that was a good try, but not really. Uh, I think this is, might be glitched out right quick. Okay, there we go. We're going to search again, compare price, and we're back to the 59th minute. And we're waiting for one of these to pop up. Now, earlier today in the heat of the daytime when these cards were getting supplied from packs and also people were, were trying them and selling them, because what happens is you have a mixture of people that are trying these cards out or they're done trying them. And that's where we get these snipes. We get these snipes because people are done trying them out and they forget that they have a chemistry style or a position change applied to the card that makes it worth more to the next person that wants to try that item. So they list it for the quote unquote cheapest price, which is actually not what that card sell for on the market. And that's where we have that knowledge to know where that card is worth and what it would sell for with the chemistry style or position change that is applied and we make bank off of it, right? And we make that flip and we make that trade. So that is where this, this trading method kind of comes in. And it's the best on Thursdays because when you have the price dropping with supply, like we did yesterday with the supply from marquee matchups, again, on this Ndombele card, when you have this drop off like this, you have people that have been trying this card out that maybe bought it for, you know, during rewards at 36K. They're then panic selling at 31,000 coins because there's pack supply, but they have a, a hunter chemistry style on it and maybe it's a center defensive mid position change. And that card still sells for 40,000 coins because you have another group of people that are wanting to go out and try that card because they maybe got some coins from their Thursday rewards or they've packed something from marquee matchups and they're going out and buying cards. So that's why this trading method is so overpowered on Thursday. This is something that, you know, I've noticed before and I was doing it on stream a little bit today, but after seeing just how profitable it was across the whole afternoon this afternoon, especially with a card like this Ndombele, who is, you know, a very hyped up item who I focused on mostly. Um, but you have other items too. Like again, Firmino is another really great one that I traded a couple cards with today. Firmino was right around 71,000 coins at his lowest. He's up a bit right now. He's like 76K. But if we take a look, like a Firmino center mid, how much does this sell for? Now, you got to remember your tax. Okay, so this doesn't sell for much more. 78 and 80. This has kind of died off a bit. Center defensive mid Firmino. All right, that one's, we, we would be able to buy a CDM Firmino. Uh, Firmino center attacking mid, I doubt this sells for anything because that's just almost the same as center forward. Yeah. Okay, so that doesn't sell for anything more. But what about like a shadow? Some people like running this Firmino at... Um, like a DM position or a box to box. So with a shadow, he looks like he sells at 80. With a hunter, not a wall, a hunter chemistry style, he's selling at like 82. Ooh, there was a 76. That would have been a decent buy. So again, you're looking for the undercuts on these cards with the position change or the chemistry styles applied. Firmino was a bang in one earlier, but you just have to also calculate in your tax as well. I had to see a Firmino at like, if I list, if I saw a hunter chemistry style, for like um, 72 or 73 and I could sell that at 82, that would be about the same amount of profit that I'm getting on Ndombele. That's why I've been focusing on Ndombele. Let me check uh, Ansu Fati. 
Again, the reason why I like the midfield cards the most uh, is because there's just more position changes that you can sell them with. Like Fati with a Hunter. What does this sell for? Fati with... Ooh, I should have sniped that. That's going to go instantly. And I'm spazzing out now. And that that card is definitely gone. Ansu Fati with a Hunter is 26,000 coins. Let's see if we can get any of these to pop up, right? If I could get one under 23k, around the 23k range, selling at 26k would be decent profit. So sometimes it's better to just snipe like this instead of doing compare price. Because I bet Ansu Fati, maybe he sells for a little bit more of the catalyst chemistry style. What about this one? Uh, 22k. No, it's the hunter for, for Ansu Fati that would sell the most. So that's why I love a guy like Ndombele because he sells for he sells for more with so many different, uh, you know, chemistry styles or position changes applied to his card. So that's basically the trading method, boys. That is basically it. I know it seems very, very simple. And I know it's probably something that you've heard talked about before with the chemistry styles, but you can do this every single Thursday on this game. I really believe that you can because you have supply for marquee matchups which drops the market, right? The way the market is this year, Oh man, with the shadow chemistry style, that would have been banging. The way the market is this year, you're going to have that supply because pack weight is so much higher and it's going to be great to trade with these cards every single Thursday. Now you can take the same thought process and even probably apply it to promo cards, right? On the first weekend, maybe even on Fridays or on Saturdays when a new promo team is released, I would take a look. I mean, obviously this is not the promo team that is in packs uh, at the moment when this video goes live, um, but you could kind of take a look at some of these cards as well as when they get supplied, maybe on like a Saturday or, um, you know, maybe even on a Sunday as there's weekend league demand and as players are using brand new promo teams, whatever it is that is a brand new special card that is in packs, people are excited to use it. They want to try it out and they want to try it out with chemistry styles because they want to try out that card to the best of its abilities. So anything that is in packs that gets supplied, that has a gap there already for a position change or a chemistry style that that card sells more with that item applied, that's what makes it OP, right? I just got another Ndombele CDM for 32,000 coins. Those are legit my favorite snipes on this Ndombele card uh, because those earlier were selling at 42K, 42K a piece, man. It was literally 10K profit per card for somebody to, to buy a CDM um, Ndombele. How much is he right now? Tell me he's 40 still. Oh, bang, and 39, 40K, we take those. So again, uh, I'm not gonna release this video right away because of course, I want to be able to keep trading with my Indomblies, boys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I am going to release this video soon. Uh, whenever you're watching it, of course, it is out. So that's like done, eh? Why are you, why are you saying that? Um, but I just wanted to make this video because I know some of you guys struggle, especially when the market is going down, especially when the market is going down a lot. And Thursdays and Fridays are like lower days on this market. Even though we have gameplay demand, we see a lot of prices dropping. I feel like this is a trading method that we can use with different cards in the game on Thursdays throughout the rest of this year in this game um, and just make some coins. Seriously, I've, I've made so many coins. I don't even know what my weekly transfer profit would be if I looked. I didn't look today before I started doing this, but I mean, I'm, I'm not even kidding. When all these Indomably sell that are on my transfer list, I'm, I'm looking at somewhere around the range of, you know, like 150, 200, maybe even 225 after all these sell. So again, that is the premise of today's video is watching these promo cards, brand new cards that are released on the game, chemistry style trading with them during times of supply. This might even work during the week. Let's say we get a, a tradable pack supply SBC on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Uh, and with brand new promo cards that people are still trying out, if we get one of those SBCs, like we have, you know, like the newcomers challenge, let's say they give out like a, a rare Electrum players pack that's tradable, drop some cards on the market, that might be a great opportunity to do some more chemistry style trading on those brand new popular cards that people uh, are trying out into their ultimate teams at that time. So that's again, that's the video for today, boys, short and sweet, but I wanted to just explain this method because it's literally OP and I can't stop going to the 59th and comparing price here on this Ndombele because I keep making coins, man. It's it's one of those like, you feel like you found a gold mine and nobody else is on it. I had a lot of competition before on Snipes, um, but uh, now as it's gotten a little bit later, I got nothing, man, and it's fantastic. So I'm gonna try to catch a few more of these snipes and uh, that's where I'm gonna end the video, boys. But if you helped, like, if you felt like this video helped you at all, I will see you next Thursday in my live stream, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. 
And we'll be doing this on stream, man. And we'll be doing this on stream. But hopefully this video did help you out and hopefully it makes you some coins. Leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.